Thanks for watching my video today. Let's evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 log of gamma x, okay, dx. Now let our integral to be i, which is integral from 0 to 1 log gamma x dx. Let's say question 1. Now if you substitute x equal to 1 minus x and dx is equal to negative dx, then when x tends to 0, meaning this x is the original one and this x is this one, okay the substitution one so when x tends to zero then this x when this tends to zero this will be tends to one and when this tends to one then this will tends to zero what do we have the integral i is integral from one to zero log of gamma one minus x negative dx because of this negative we know that integral from a to b f dx is nothing but negative integral from b to a f dx right so using the formula due to this negative so we can interchange the upper and lower limit so then is the integral from 0 to 1 log gamma of 1 minus x dx equation 2 now if you had equation 1 and 2 so 2i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 log gamma x plus log gamma 1 minus x dx so using the property of log then is log of a b is log a plus log b right so using that <coughs> you will get integral from 0 to 1 log gamma x gamma 1 minus x by using Euler reflection formula then is Euler reflection formula is gamma s gamma 1 minus s is pi over sine pi s right this is Euler reflection formula this is exactly the same here replace s by x only here then you get 2i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 log of pi over sine pi a, pi x and again using log property log of a by b is log a minus log b right so log pi integral from 0 to 1 dx minus integral from 0 to 1 log sine pi x dx okay now putting pi x equal to u then pi dx equal to du in second integral meaning this one okay then you get 2i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 dx is nothing but just one only right therefore 2i is equal to log pi minus so integral from 0 to pi when right when x is 0 then u is 0 when x is 1 then u is pi right log sine x and dx will be du upon pi right du upon pi or you can replace by x again so we just log pi minus 1 over pi is constant so coming out minus 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi log sine x dx right using the property of definite integral again so 2i is equal to log pi minus 2 over pi so here because of this 2 so the upper bound this one will be pi over 2 okay this 2 and 2 will cancel okay then it's because Integral from a to 2a, f dx is nothing but 2 times integral from 0 to a, f dx, okay? Using this property here, then you get log pi minus 2 over pi. And in the previous, we know that integral from 0 to pi over 2, log sine x dx is nothing but negative pi by 2, log 2, okay? You can check out that. So pi pi cancel, 2 2 cancel. Negative and negative become positive log 2, okay, which is using the property of log again here. Log a plus log b is log a b, so log 2 pi. Therefore, or i is nothing but 1 by 2, log 2 pi. Therefore, our original integral, this one, then is integral from 0 to 1, log gamma x dx is 1 by 2, log 2 pi, okay. So, this is the solution for this integral.